Hey yeah, my name's Andy and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm jumping into the seventh episode of Sense8 season one. Now, I feel like everything's kind of happening to everybody at the moment. Like, in the last episode, we obviously had Riley running into that drug dealer guy who was played by the Benjamin Stark actor. Nix, I think his name is. That was horrific. But obviously Will saved her. And we had... We just had a lot of people kind of connecting. There was a very... <laughs> there, was, there was a definite connecting happening during that episode, which was quite difficult to edit as well as just generally connecting. No, seriously though, it does feel like everybody's kind of starting to, not necessarily figure it out, but they're, they're, they're starting to explore it, kind of. I don't know, I, I don't think any of them have, have really got full control over it yet. I think Will probably has the most control at this point, but even then I think a lot of what happens to him is kind of accidental. And I feel like that's what's happening to most of them. They're they're connecting, but it's not deliberate at this point. And I'm guessing that the more they learn, the more they can kind of control that sort of thing and, and make good use of it. So yeah, I literally have no clue where this is going. Like I, I just thinking about all the different characters and all their like separate storylines, I, I don't know. <laughs> Which is lovely, actually. But yeah, before we do jump in, here's my regular reminder that if you are into full-length reactions, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. Over there, you'll find full-length reactions to everything I've got on the channel, as well as gaining early access to edited videos as well. So if that's something that interests you, then go check it out. So yeah, with all that said, let's jump into this. This is Sense8, Season 1, Episode 7. Oh, it's his son. Arriving at the prison. I mean... I suppose on the plus side she can fight. I'm not sure if that's... particularly helpful. He got caught hacking the Pentagon during the war. Then why is he in jail? Because I took the fall for him. Interesting. I was a juvenile. I had rich parents. I got off with community service. Attention! This is prisoner 773. Teach her the rules. It is her. Here he comes. I don't like any of this. The embezzler. He stole all of those investors' money? Shamed the father and brother. And almost destroyed their company. Well done. Okay. Hey, Bug. Where's Mike? It's me. I'm... Mike. Oh shit. Right. Totally forgot I'm a fucking idiot. Of course it's you, buddy! <laughs> of course it's you. Like a new, hot version of you. You're a total fox. I would do you. I would. I would totally. I mean, not like, not in a degrading way like that sounded, but total compliment. Thank you. Right business everything you need right here if the government can use this shit to spy on us why shouldn't we be able to spy on them missed you buddy i married my husband when i was 22 years old then he lost his job this is not going at all like i expected it to honestly and then I could guess how bad the beating would be by the hands of the clock. But in here, every moment spent free of that man is a gift. But why are you here? 
Cause I put rat poison in his bibimbap and killed the motherfucker. <laughs> and you? I pushed my father's wheelchair down an elevator shaft my... with him still in it. Oh, God. In this country, sometimes the only place you can find a brave and honest woman is in prison. Remember, I know you've been dying to come to this restaurant ever since Lito talked about the food. I saw you and your little emoticon sad face. But here you are, out in the world, sitting next to each other. Come on, let's enjoy it. We went to the wrestling thing together. It's different. Why? Because that was a guy thing, and this is a romantic restaurant. Exactly. Oh. If a photographer comes up or someone that wants an autograph, all Hernando has to do is stand up and glower at them. And I guarantee everyone in this room will believe he's your new bodyguard. Hi, um, can we take a picture? Shit. I'm just feeling so awkward for everybody at that table now. I have to go. And this is my fault. It was my fault. Oh, this is your fault. Relax. Let's go, please. Oh. The man is here. Leave him in peace. Okay? Leave him in peace! Oh my god. How was it? So good. I, I believed it. Oh, is Riley going back to Iceland? Oh my god. <laughs> Clouds! Beautiful. <laughs> How amazing is this, huh? You are, you are so lucky. Privileged, not lucky. You are lucky because you are still able to see your father. That is something I dream about. I'm sorry. Look out of the window. Those are actual clouds. What if something terrible happens because of me going back? What if something wonderful happens? Hmm? Caffius is amazing. Oh god, I'm nervous. <laughs> my new bodyguard, Hernando. My girlfriend, Daniela. Shit. I'd love to go to Iceland. Riley, take my hand. admit, that was the best night out of your life. This, this was our first night out ever. <laughs> ever. Who the fuck? Orange juice. Welcome home. Make you a drink? What the fuck are you doing here? Oh shit. Lito, call the police. Hey! It is his ex, her ex. I'm not the bad guy. drunk the man every guy wants to be every girl wants to fuck i to touch him oh who's the tough guy huh he's my bodyguard again so please there's no violence for tonight it's cool 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 oh i'm scared i want to know what i did wrong and what he did right for starters Lito's never hit me. Boy, this is Mexico. I'm a man, I was raised that way. You hit your woman to make her respect you. Well, Lito's twice the man you'll ever be. 
I want to see it for myself. Want to be a better footballer? Watch the best. Want to be a better bowler? Do the same. What? I want to see you fucker. Mm. No. Please! That, that, that's it, I'm calling the police. Oh, no, no, please. No, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey. Shit. Oh, please don't. Fuck her in good health! My bodyguard. I'm feeling very windy Houston right now. <laughs> oh, God bless him. That was terrifying. I'm sensing a bit of a negative vibe here. Y'all just need to be cool and let me do the talking, I. Shit. If someone told me they were hearing other people's voices in their heads, I'd be sure they slept off their medication. There was a time when people who heard voices were considered saints. It wasn't a sign of madness, it was a sign of the miraculous. I feel like we're building up to something quite big for everybody, but I don't know what. Oh, shit. You and Lincoln got history or something? My boy got all Romeo with the former Miss Ludacris. Damn, Will. <laughs> she got scared by the fireworks. She got frightened and before I knew it, she was gone. I felt this panic starting to rise up. I suddenly could hear her. It was the sound that she used to make when she slept against my chest. It was a feeling or a vibration, and I, I followed it straight to her. Waffle cone stand. I'm a simple girl. <laughs> no one believed me when I told them how I found her, but it didn't matter. I knew what had happened. Checking his travel records, he has been all over the world. London, Istanbul, Switzerland, Seoul, and Iceland. Mm. And these are his insurance records, basically his work history over the past year. You're looking for the operation he was gonna do to you. Shit. He's performed it three times in the Bay Area. What do you want? Diplomatic immunity. What? He's been to all the places that everybody's at, like Iceland. And stuff the information is good can i help you i'm here to see niles bolter he's a patient here okay sure pull anything out of the building check it who's in the bag Get the license plates? Of course I got the plates. What you think we are? Amateur hour and shit? <laughs> I'll start a trace. Oh yeah, scary dude. He was the one that was talking to Angelica at the beginning. Oh god. Uncle Niles, it's me, know me. She felt a connection? That could be me. Okay. Just promise me that no matter what you have to do, you will not let that happen to me. I promise. Can you open it, please? You brought it back real clean. Most thorough clean up job I've ever seen. Hey, 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 hey. You okay? No, I'm good. From the day I decided to marry Rajan, you've been sending me visions. You sent me a vision of a woman taking her own life. But then you sent me a vision of a man with a large <laughs> trunk, 
a very large trunk. I'm a little more than confused. I wish to understand. So help me, Ganesha. Help me see what it is I must do. Gods don't give a shit about us. I speak from experience. Why won't you just leave me alone? Believe me, I try not to think of you. But every time it brings me straight to you. At least the wedding tune. <laughs> It's nice here. Weather shit in Berlin. If I were trying to describe this feeling, the sensation of experiencing the warmth of the sun, while at the same time being soaked by a downpour. Taste of strong coffee. I would say that the word miracle sounds particularly appropriate. Wouldn't you? I'm just gonna have to pause a minute. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know why that made me cry. Cause like, I mean, I like those two characters and I've loved like their little interactions up, into this po up to this point. Cause it's like, it's funny more than anything. You know, with him showing up naked, like literally all the time. <laughs> And I don't, yeah, I don't know what it is or what it was about that conversation they just had that just made me tear up. But then I felt, I felt like that a couple of times during this episode as well. Like when Riley was on the plane and Caffius was looking out the window at the clouds, that almost made me tear up as well. Oh. <laughs> just a, obviously an emotional episode for some reason and it's not like oh my god it's all romantic and lovely it, it, like i mean that, that that sort of stuff doesn't generally get to me so yeah i don't know what that was anyway right i am going to jump back into it now you slept well Best sleep I had in a long time. During your time of stay, you will complete female vocational training. Pardon, ma'am. I will be her teacher. Move to this table. You didn't have to help me. I know. I've been watching you on the internet. You a lot of shows. Doing well. Just playing records for drunk people trying to get laid. <laughs> You make music, Riley. And for a moment, people forget the troubles in their lives. It's no small thing. I'm very proud of you. I have to get to rehearsal. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. You should not go back. Hmm. I've always hated being alone. It's one of the reasons why I love the festival. Wow. Do you want to see what this is? Ganesha. Look there. Bloody hell. Made me a believer. But you're a scientist. My love for science doesn't preclude my faith. For me, science is another language we use to talk about the same miracles that faith talks about. One language makes sense, one doesn't. Sense, like quantum physics, or sense like gravity. I'm 
there wasn't this mysterious attraction. This pull between <laughs> objects. Hey, Wolfie, where the fuck are you? What? I heard from Abraham. You take the rest of the diamonds. <laughs> when? <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to be fucking rich. Hey, this is great news. Well, you look like someone took a piss in your beer. <laughs> I've been thinking I want to get out of Berlin for a little while. Mm. I need to take a trip. India? India. You outside, bitch. Does this happen often? Only when the sun is out. I have a feeling someone's gonna do something about that. Don't get into any trouble, Diana Prince. Mr. Kabaka wants to see you. Dad's here? How could I leave you alone on your birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday. You could have told me. You know I like my secrets. Come with us. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll always go and I'll go. Morning, Whitney. This is what our relationship has come to? Texting me from me inside of the house? I didn't text you. Fuck. Jesus, what? Tell me this is a joke. Oh my god. Son of a bitch must have stole my phone. You took pictures of us having sex? Shit. Could destroy my career. My whole life. I'm so, I'm so sorry. You could blackmail me. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna talk to him and I'm gonna get the phone back and the pictures back and everything. It's my fault and, and I'm gonna fix it. Oh. Reimbursement receipts show he comes in for a coffee every day around this time. We are creatures of habit. Enter the creature. Right on time. What does that thing do again? It uses its own network to clone the phone that he's using with this one. Downloading contacts, emails, calls, passwords. That is slightly terrifying. What? Shit. He looked scared. Contact list shows Dr. Matheson. I know that look. Don't. I thought we were clear. Is this Nomi? I'm looking forward to meeting you. What? Who was it? I don't know, but he knew me. Metzger's booked on the last flight to Chicago. Okay, what does that mean? It means he's not gonna be in his house tonight. If these people know who I am, then we need to start figuring out who they are. Yeah, but if he's going to Chicago... WWND. What would Nancy Drew do? <laughs> I sense a costume opportunity. If he's going to Chicago, that's Chicago. That's where Will is, isn't it? She likes you. She has a big heart. I'll do anything for her. It's the same with you and your mother, yes? Come on. It's love. My enemies would call a weakness something to be exploited. I disagree. I mean, this man, what do they hold in their hearts? Huh? Desire, lust, greed. Are these men willing to go as far as you and I for what they believe? This one I was grooming to be my number one brother. He watered down the drugs I gave him so he could double up on the money. My reputation is only as good as the products I sell. 
Oh God. Mr. Kabaka. Am I willing to let my business perish by greed and stupidity? <laughs> Jesus. He understood the risk he was taking. I was about to say I'm actually coming around to quite like this guy, but no. I'm very much not. You read that in a book? The power of literature. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous. Do you know what else I read in the Lee Child book? That you can use the crowbar as an alarm. Oh, I'm nervous. Wow. Shit. Zombie making sure does pay well. This is really weird. There's almost nothing personal. Something's not right. What's wrong? I feel like that's actually not his house. That's like a dummy house. What happened? I don't know what happened. Nothing happened. It's the nothing that has me worried. You went to see Abraham? I did. Well, at least I tried to. We oh, had a date. He didn't show. No. So I called. Nothing. Went by his shop. Closed up. God. I'm thinking about your passage to India. Maybe you need a shepherd or something. Hello? We're closed! Please. Please, can you help me? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, what would all the damsels do if I left the city? I'm nervous. Shit. Oh, don't, don't. That's that guy, isn't it? Who he stole the diamonds off of? Or the one who was going to steal the diamonds but he got there first? Oh, f Oh my god, no. Mm. Hello? Shh! It's Metzger! I'm calling the police! Ooh. Know me. Oh. Ever brought you here, I'm happy to see that you had a moment of sufficient clarity. Fuck off. Shows there's still time to help you. I can have an ambulance here in five minutes. I'm not the one that's gonna need an ambulance. You're about to get an eyeful of mace if you don't start answering my questions. We visited your little zombie prison in Nightingales. I'm guessing that's the reason my trip was canceled. Who canceled it? Was it Dr. Matheson? How do you know that name? I called him. We had a little chat. Oh no. What have you done? No me. Jonas? You've got to get out of here. F He's coming. Who? Whispers. Who is Whispers? Oh my god, you've killed us all. He's here. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not worth it. Just go. Oh, let them kill each other. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, just run! What's going on? Oh, my God. Oh yes, kill him. Please. No, no. Oh God. I'm sorry. So I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, hmm, I'm a little bit confused. So that bit at the end there, 
And I did go back and just rewatch that very last bit because I was kind of squinting at the screen because I didn't want to see somebody shoot themselves in the face. But yeah, we saw it was the guy that she went and visited at the hospital, Niles. But in the mirror, it was showing the guy that we saw in the first episode that was threatening Angelica. So I don't know who that was. I'm, I don't I don't imagine that that doctor guy is it Mathis Doctor Mathis. I don't imagine he's dead. That just, I, mm. but yeah, a lot happened in that episode. Jesus, where to start? So we've got obviously Nomi is finding out some stuff. She's hacking and and stuff, and I feel like she's uncovering some stuff. But now that that doctor's dead, the one that we know is dead, the one that Niall shot Metzger, he was obviously scared of people higher up than him, but he was also going to. Chicago which is where Will is and there was mention that he'd already been to Iceland and Seoul and all the other places that everybody else is at so that's terrifying but I don't quite know what it means yet there's a lot sorry there's a lot I didn't I don't I feel like I didn't speak much during that episode either because there was just so much going on so yeah apart from Nomi we had Will who is obviously doing his own investigating. He's tracking down the van that Dr. Matheson, it looks like, took Angelica's body away from, like when she shot herself in the first episode. So he's closing in on that. But now Wolfgang's mate has just been shot. And that did look... I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure because we haven't seen a lot of him, but I think it's the guy or the son of the guy that warned Wolfgang. Well, not warned him. Well, yeah, he did warn him, didn't he? He was like, he was basically trying to find out who had cracked the safe. So, yeah, I, I feel like that was him. I don't think that's actually connected to all of the the Sense8 stuff. But then we had Caffius as well. And the guy, I can't, I can't remember his name, but the guy that he's working for at the moment... I thought he, you know, I was starting to actually come around to him. I was sort of thinking, well, he's actually not that bad. Maybe he's just misunderstood. You know, maybe he's just a really successful businessman that people think is ruthless and cutthroat and whatever, but he's actually not. He's actually just a really nice guy. But no, he he just chopped people's arms off in front of Caffius. And that was just weird because, like, it, it felt like he was about to do something really nice for him. For Caffius, I mean. Like, the way he was like, oh, come with me and, you know, come to my daughter's birthday party. And I was thinking, oh, maybe he's going to, like, I don't know, present him with a huge, massive case of medicine for his mum or something. But no, it was just, let me show you what I'm going to do to you if you fuck me off. <laughs> and then we've got Leto and that situation. Like, the guy showing up, Thingy's ex, that surprised me. Because I know we saw him in the last episode... Because I said, oh, is that Thingy's ex when he was stood there and Leto noticed him? Son, we've obviously... She's now in the, the prison. And, I, and I, I feel like things are actually going okay for her. I mean, considering that she's in prison. But I, I feel like she's gonna probably sort out that woman that took the other girl's sewing that she'd done and passed off as her own. I, I feel like Son's gonna sort her out. Or at least I hope she does. But also, things do seem to be going quite well for Riley as well at the moment. She's back in Iceland with her dad. That seems to be going too well, though. I'm a little bit concerned there. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up. So, uh, like always, if you've enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.